Hey, back for part two. Nick Bradshaw working the lines. North Metro Owls versus uh, Minnesota Northern Lights, Bloomington Northern Lights, whatever the heck you want to call them. Used to be the South St. Paul Steers. Okay, so there you see Nick and Cameron have switched lines based on that pile up by the blue line. Nick got out of there. Cameron came and took his line. Do I want you to do that at youth level? No, because you just totally, totally piss off some partner out there. 95 percenter. Look at that. And stop something. Everybody watch that. 5 percent off. Offsides club. Okay, and heads up, focused enough to know that that is not his line. Gave to partner. Most guys would be all Jimmy Limmy Skimmy, thinking I'm doing such a great job. I'm a part of the five percent club. I'm gonna drop the puck too. Guess what? It's not your end. That's another thing that I talked about over the year that guys have had a chance to work on is know what your job is, each spot, time, stoppage, everything. So we don't drop biscuits in our partner's end. Is it a big deal? To me it is because it's saying you're not there mentally. Come on buddy, hang on to your stick. Na 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 na. I'm gonna start a fight. Everybody stick around because we're gonna have a fight. It's not gonna be your typical fight. It's gonna be a little something else. So stay on the edge of your seat. You know, I always wonder is everybody watching these videos, you know, when they get a chance, get some time to get caught up? And, uh, maybe I'll just say, there's a fight with a unique circumstance, and maybe I won't make a game note about it. So you got to watch each clip, each 10-minute clip to see where you can find it. Because it's such an interesting fight, I think that's what I'm going to do. The other reason I want to do that, because I want everybody to watch this video game because this is a game where guys all three officials are bringing it and you need to and that's why in little games I'm gonna make a game note about this that's for darn sure that's why in the little games the slower games the the Laverne versus New Holmes the the Bantam Seas of the World River Heights the the girls high school games the whatever if you got a slower moving game you've got to work on your hockey skills your ref skills because you play like you practice and this is a game where guys are playing like they practice. You can't just come into a game like this and expect to flip the switch. That switch is needed. It has to have had been flipped before. You know what I mean? The neural pathways have to be there. We're going to get into that more with the offseason camp. Stay tuned. But in, in the mental side of it, there needs to have been previous... Uh, pathway, neural pathway, the previous wiring done. You've laid down the wiring already, so when it comes time, bam, flip the switch, go. There's no way. No way you could step into a game like this that's at a high intense level and be able to perform if you haven't been doing that in the other games. So, these guys they being uh, well, all three of them but Bradshaw and Cameron Voss they are playing like they practice because they practice at a very high level I know they have to because you can't get into a game like this 
five percent of the guys won't do that little moon over there. He's been doing that over and over and over again, working towards ten thousand reps to become an expert. Bam! Locks up the brakes. Perfect. Now, the homework assignment for these two guys in our group here, uh, Bradshaw and Voss, is to go out and work many more games at this high intense level because you gotta, just because you do it once doesn't mean you're gonna do it all the time. And that's exactly what they're working on when you perfect your craft. You perfect your craft by being very diligent about your practice. So in your peewees and mites and squirts and ten UBs and everything else. You're working on your hockey skills. So when you get into a game like this, you're ready to perform. Okay? The next step in the progression is repeating this performance over and over again. Not every game is going to be as intense and be as involved as this one is. However, Being able to bring it in every game is going to give you the ability to get more assignments, to get more games like this, to further perfect your craft. Refereeing is an art form, it's a craft, and you need to continually work on that craft. Na 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 na, I'm going to start a fight. You know what's funny about this game is I was at Isani the very next night. Nice. Bam, we're in. In like sin. I was at Isani the very next night. They're playing the Wildcats. I was working for the league, supervising. Therefore, I don't videotape when I do that. And tonight, we got filet mignon. Tomorrow night, dog food. Game sucked. It was boring, uninspiring. Okay, two minute warning. Oh, come on. Just rewind that a little bit and, and freeze. And this is what you got to do in these situations. Is what I, exactly what I believe. Okay, now look at this. You got to scan this picture real quick. Where are the tacky players? Where are the defending players? What are our options? Where is it going to go? And you prep yourself for that. Okay, the guys who get caught and get hit and get pucks in the skates and you know and and so forth and so on and caught unaware at the line are the ones who can't do this. That's why getting in uh, games like this and getting in games like this helps when you've had good practice and practice is um, working on these kinds of things at a slower game now you could come back and say well if it's a slower game how am I going to be able to react when it's fast when the game speed is much faster okay? you do things like play the guessing game I talked about guess where it's going to go see what percentage of the time you're right okay? Work on your anticipation, sight lines, getting out of harm's way, and being in position here. So the the area, of the playing field got shrunk considerably, and now you got to look at what your options are and where you can go and maybe maneuver. That is a skill unto itself, and that's why some of these guys like Bradshaw and Cameron Boss and uh, Neil Misling, ever since I've seen him last year working juniors, to uh, Kevin Cassidy, they get better in traffic because you get better at reading and analyzing the play. Okay? So, I'm going to stop this. We're going to see you on the next part. Bye-bye.